the second annual Golds in List Awards. It is I, your host for the evening, Alyssa Marie. If you are new here, very special welcome to you. Golds in List Awards is something that I do every single year. I usually try to do it at the end of the year, but the end of last year got a little crazy for me, which is why we're doing it in January of this year. But basically today we're going to be talking all about my favorite products of 2021. Like the best of the best. From 2021. We are going to be touching all curly girl things you know, but we're also going to be talking about makeup, a little bit of makeup, a little bit of skincare, body care, and I also even threw in a little bit of fragrance at the end as well because that really represented 2021 for me. I made sure to kind of develop these categories around what truly represented 2021 for me. So I'm really excited to share all of these amazing products. We actually got a lot to get through today. I added some categories, we got some new things. We're stepping up a little bit from last year okay so let's just go ahead and get into it let's just first go ahead and cover hair it is the largest amount of categories that we've got so the first category is going to be best do it all gel and so the nominees are dippity do girls with curls jelly bomb ass fro hair defining jelly brio geo curl charisma frizz control gel and inner sense i create hold gel this one was hard you want to know why because i use every single one of these I'm the type to really switch it up a little bit for the most part and kind of just like I usually have my handful of products that I just rotate. I don't like to necessarily use the same thing every single week. As a matter of fact, my hair doesn't like that. Um, so I genuinely use all of these on a very regular basis. But with me having to choose a winner for the sake of this video, I would have to say that the winner is... Dippity do girls with curls jelly. Okay, so you guys, I literally, I just found myself reaching for this so, so much. It is so curl defining. That is one of the things that I just love about this stuff. And y'all, let me show you something. Let me show you that it's real, okay? Boom. Empty, empty, where it's gone. When you look at the jar, it says light hold, but I found that if you just use a lot, it's like, it's almost like it's buildable. So when I use a lot, I get a pretty good amount of hold. And because it's also so curl defining, my curls are just so popping every single time. I actually forgot to mention so quickly, how am I determining these nominees and this winner? So specifically for the hair category, I am choosing products that I know that I can use and reproduce good results on a consistent basis like have you ever used a product where it's good the first time you try it again and it's just like it's not a reliable product sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and it's like rolling the dice when you use it i cannot stand it it makes me so mad so all of these products that i mentioned nominees and winners are products that i have used many many times throughout 2021 and i just know that i can reproduce amazing results with them every single time. Of course, I'm also considering ingredients. Y'all know I am all about the healthy, curly hair, okay? And ingredients are important. I have a preference for silicone free, but something I'm using very frequently, it's nine times out of 10 not going to have silicone. And the last bit of criteria I am using to kind of consider nominees and winners are packaging, smell, price point, kind of all the things that you really look for in a brand and also in a product. So those are kind of the things that I'm considering and this girl just came on top. Anyways, moving right along, oh my gosh, I could talk about hair products all day, but I'm gonna try and keep this snappy because like I said, we've got a lot to cover today and I just, I wanna keep it moving, okay? So on to the next one. Okay, so up next we have Best Cleansing But Moisturizing Shampoo. And so the nominees are Melon Hair Care African Black Soap Shampoo, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Shampoo, Fakai Shea Butter Shampoo, and the Curl Make Shampoo. And the winner is y'all don't be mad at me it's a tie it's a tie between the melanin hair care african black soap shampoo and the rio geo super moisture shampoo now let me explain okay honestly i love the way that these work 
together. I don't use them together in the same wash, but how I use it is I just go back and forth. One week I'm using this, one week I'm using this. And I just go back and forth and my curls and my scalp have just been really, really happy with that routine. This is unlike any other shampoo I've ever used in my entire life. <laughs> that sounds so dramatic, but it's true. Um, it has tea tree, soothing turmeric, black cumin seed. Like it's got all the most amazing things in here. My scalp absolutely loves this stuff. And then Brio Geo, y'all I already know how I feel about this brand okay it's just their ingredients are top-notch and their entire like specifically their entire don't despair repair collection has been one of my favorite collections ever for a while this is protein free so it gives you that protein free repair benefit and when I say super moisture like it's helps no lies so these are our winners okay first and only category with double winners I promise all right, so next we've got Best Twist Out Curl Cream. And the nominees are the Sky Organics Curl Cream, the TPH by Taraji Twist and Set Cream, and the Briogeo Coil Custard. So you guys know 2021 was actually the year that I stopped using creams for my wash and goes, but I 110% still very, very much love a good cream for a twist and go. And so the winner, without a doubt, is gonna have to be the TPH by Taraji Twist and Set Cream, y'all. Y'all. This cream is so good. It gave me the most delicious, juicy, shiny twist out that I have ever had, and I am obsessed. The thing that really excited me this past year when TPH launched these was that they made sure to make them silicone free, which is amazing. So super moisturizing had to a thousand percent be the winner of this category. Okay, so moving right along, the next category is gonna be my most used go-to hair treatment. We're talking about deep conditioners, masks, any kind of treatment product for your hair, which one did I use the most in 2021? Okay, so the nominees are Fekai Shea Butter Intense Mask, Curlsmith Hydro Cream Soothing Mask, Ryojio Don't Despair Repair Mask, TPH by Taraji Mask On Mask, and the Inner Sense Detox Mask. Literally all of these masks, treatments, whatever you want to call them, are so good. I really genuinely love them so much. I feel like 2021, I mostly just focused on a lot more moisture for my hair. 2021 was also the first time ever that I started implementing detox masks into my regimen as well. And so InnerSense is one of my favorites. Now, the winner of most used go-to hair treatment is definitely going to have to be... The Fakai Shea Butter Intense Mask. You guys, I'm actually not 100% sure. Like, I don't think I ever did a dedicated video with this, but I have spoken, like, briefly about it in one of my wash and go videos. This took me all the way by surprise. This is just one of those PR products that I received, tried it once, and my curls were, they were singing. They were singing to the gods because they were just so, so happy. And now let me... Let me just prove to y'all, okay? She's empty. This is actually the product that made me realize how much my hair actually likes shea butter. And honestly, this is my first time within my entire natural hair journey that I realized a specific product that my hair really likes. Or not a specific product, a specific ingredient. I had never learned that about my hair before. You know, some people are like, they're coconut sensitive or whatever. I've never ever had any issues like that or I've never noticed anything until I used the shea butter mask and I was like, wow, anything with shea butter, give it to me because my hair loves it. Again, honestly, all of these that I mentioned in here are kind of my go-to treatments that I just, again, like rotate on a nice little basis to keep my hair happy, healthy, and nice and balanced as well. Boom, on to the next one. Now we gotta talk about accessories. So this category is called Best Can't Live Without It Hair Accessory. So the nominees are the Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush, the Bonnet Hood Hair Dryer Attachment, the Thermal Hair Care Hothead, Comb Clips, and the insert name here, Shayla Ponytail. Can y'all already guess which one I'm gonna choose? Hmm. <laughs> I have to say the winner of this category is going to be the insert name here, Shayla Ponytail. Y'all, I, I just love this. Look at the way it spiced me up. Like, who am I? Who is she? Who is she today? She's Glamlissa. A slick back ponytail can never go wrong, okay? 
as long as you have this ponytail so I'm obsessed with it love it very much and I love that it's not like straight but it just has like a nice little wave it's got its own little bit of volume to it it is long sis okay it's long it's just it's everything I just feel like an absolute like I'm, I'm a baddie without it but I feel like a double baddie when I got my ponytail on <laughs> But honestly, I would say there's two other accessories that would maybe tie for like second place. The bonnet hood hair dryer attachment, amazing. For twist outs, if I was a twist out girl and I use that often, then that would have had to be number one for sure. But when I do do those styles, I just actually can't. I can't do those styles without it anymore because it's so, so good. Literally takes drying time from like, 12 to 24 hours down to like two hours ish it's mm, amazing um but then the other one that i would say would tie with that one for second place is the felicia leatherwood detangling brush now even though ever since i cut my hair i haven't really been styling with the brush but i have still been detangling with it as my hair is growing getting a little bit longer of course it's getting a little bit more tangled now because it is longer um and so i pick back up my felicia leatherwood brush and it is so good it's just so good it's good for detangling it's good for styling it's just the best brush still to this day that i have ever ever used and so yeah those would be my close seconds but like i said honestly everything everything i just love everything that i'm mentioning right now <laughs> okay so this next one is a big one we are about to award the overall best curly hair brand of the year of 2021 and now when i'm thinking about nominees for this category i am of course taking into account everything we've mentioned before but i'm also looking to brands who have a very well-rounded uh product line so not just wash products or not just stylers but like a full well-rounded collection to where i can use their collection for a full wash day from beginning to end so yeah there are six nominees for this category first we have curlsmith then brio geo inner sense Adra beauty curls and camille rose these are brands that i genuinely love i love their products I love their thoughts that they put into the ingredients that they use. I love their packaging. So I genuinely love, love all these brands, but I feel like if you're an OG here, you're gonna know who I am gonna pick as the winner 100%. It was kind of actually an easy pick. Uh, so the winner of overall best curly hair brand of the year has to absolutely go to my friends at Briogeo. I genuinely love everything about Brio Geo from Nancy Twine's story. Nancy Twine is the founder of Brio Geo. Um, from her story and the reason why she started her brand to the fact that she's a black woman making it a black owned brand um, to the ingredients that they use. They're six free hair care. They never include any silicones or anything. So you know whenever they're coming out with a product, it's gonna be bomb.com. You don't even have to worry about stressing and looking at the back of the ingredients. It's like, okay, what does this one have in it? They also have such a massive, massive range of products. They launched their Scalp Revival collection this year. They're continuously expanding their Don't Spare Repair collection. And then right at the end of last year, they went and snuck in with that innovative product launch, like right at the end of the year. Um, if you guys haven't heard of it, it's their Brio Geo Rice Water protein and moisture treatment and it's actually part of this like new kind of subline of products that they're doing called mega strength plus all about strengthening your hair like you can just tell that they're a brand that's all about the health of your hair and everything so i just genuinely have so so much love for biogeo of course curlsmith innersense adra beauty curls camille rose all those other brands are also amazing inner sense especially like that's one of the newer brands that I tried this year so and speaking of new brands that I tried last year the next category is going to be best new to me hair brand and so what I mean by new to me is that they're new to me <laughs> uh, pretty straightforward right so these aren't necessarily brands that launched in 2021 I mean they could be or they're not but um, they're brands that I tried for the first time in 2021 and actually really enjoyed so the nominee these are Innersense, Curl Mix, Fakai, Melon Hair Care, Mish Beauty, and Dippity Doo. And the winner is Innersense! 
So Innersense was introduced to me through my stylist Crystal. Love you girl if you're watching. Every time she does my hair it comes out absolutely bomb, absolutely flawless. And so of course I had to try them myself and I absolutely love the products. They're super concentrated. All the products, like their entire brand actually is just about like affirmations almost and like just making you feel good like feel your best and stuff and so i absolutely love the brand for that um their ingredients absolutely top notch so good i will say their products are very different they're very unique um and they are like super clean and um potent if you will when you do switch over to inner sense i feel like it takes a little bit of time for your hair to like adjust to it a little bit so just a couple of washes but girl once you once you get there the products are the bombs.com i especially love their wash products their hair bath is amazing shampoo that's what their shampoo is called and then also their gel bombs.com it is it's got some good holds on there and then i also really 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 love their detox mask so definitely inner sense is one of my favorite new to me brands of 2021 all right so now we're getting into our last but certainly not least hair category and this is a fun one it's a new category and it's one that you guys actually recommended that I include in here so thank you so much for sending me recommendations by the way love your ideas so please keep them coming comment below if there's anything that you're thinking about that you want me to add in next year's but yeah I actually got multiple requests for this category and that is most exciting future launches okay I can't tell the future but I can you know we can we can do a little thing so let me tell you who the nominees are for this category. So the first nominee is Curl Smith, their Shine Collection. Second nominee is the Melanin Hair Care Stylers. And then third are the Brio Geo Mega Strength Plus products. So let's just quickly talk about each nominee, just real quick, real quick. So the Curl Smith Shine Collection, if you guys don't know, now you know, they just recently launched just now, like January 2022, a brand new collection called their Shine Collection. It's fragrance free, it's supposed to be nice and moisturizing, all about shine. I have not tried it yet though. So I'm very, very excited to kind of give that a try. It just seems like right up my alley. It seems like something that my hair would absolutely love. And then Melanin Hair Care Stylers. I put that in there with like all kinds of confidence. Like I know something about them coming out with stylers. I don't, okay? That's not a fact. This is just kind of a speculation. I have been so in love with their shampoo that I'm dying to try some more. I want to see some more from them. They do have a twisting cream, I believe. I need to, I need to try more of what they have out currently. Um, but I'm excited to see more. I know that their founder has just gotten, I think she may have finished up already. Actually, I'm not sure, but I know for a fact in 2021, she was taking classes for dermatology and all that stuff. So that just makes me feel like, you know, she's getting more education and I just have some high hopes for some new launches. Hopefully this year, but maybe not. Maybe it's gonna be in the next few years to come, but I am very, very excited to kind of see what's next. And then last but certainly not least, the Brio Geo Omega Strength Plus products. So like I mentioned, their newest rice water protein and moisture treatment is their first Mega Strength Plus product. And Nancy, the founder of Brio Geo, she actually hinted that there are more Mega Strength Plus products to come. So I'm really excited to see what else they come through with, and I'm I'm assuming maybe they're probably going to include rice water as well. I know rice water has been huge for the entire natural hair community. So I'm really, really excited to see kind of where they go with that. So that's just a little explanation of the nominees. So the winner of this category is going to have to be the Melanin Hair Care Stylers. I'm dying. I'm dying to see them. Give us a gel. Give us a good gel. I can't wait. I can't wait. I just know it's going to be innovative as well and then packed with delicious ingredients. So that basically wraps up the entire hair section. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Did I miss something? Let me know. I love to hear your feedback in the comments. So let me know. As of now, we're going to go ahead and move on into our beauty section. So beauty is going to include makeup, skincare, and body care, and a little Bit of fragrance at the end and I'm very excited about it so let's just quickly talk about the criteria for the beauty section here so I'm really looking for brands and products that are comfortable to wear I'm looking for products that are effective what's the color payoff like how does it work for my skin am I actually getting moisturized you know what I mean and then also of course like the overall quality of the products I am somebody who absolutely does not I do not skimp 
on quality. And I think y'all know this by now. I'm willing to pay for extra quality. I'll do it. I don't have a problem with that. So quality of the products, of the packaging, of the ingredients is very, very important to me. And yeah, I feel like 2021 was a year where I kind of developed my little, little, little mantra. I mentioned it on Instagram a little bit. Um, but my mantra is look good, feel good, be good. And that's basically kind of how I live my life a little bit. Every day I like to look good so that I can then feel good. Once I look good and I feel good, then I am good. I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna do good things, you know what I mean? And so that's kind of how I approach everything within the beauty industry. So we're just gonna dive right in to the first category, which is most flawless complexion. <laughs> I just really quickly want to see if anybody can comment below really, really quickly what do you think the winner is going to be without me even mentioning the nominees? Because if you can get this, I know you a real one and that you have been on here listening to me. Anyways, the nominees are the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint, the LYS Triple Fix Foundation, and the Fenty Powder Foundation. I genuinely use all of these there is one that i use a lot more often than the rest but i do have all of them sitting out like i have like a makeup tower here with all like the storage of all my products but then i have like a mini thing here where i keep the products that i need to access almost on a daily basis and all of these that I mentioned are sitting right here in front of me. Like I said, if you guys have been watching my channel, you already know the deal. So we definitely got to give Most Flawless Complexion to the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This was actually our winner back from 2020, and she still got the top spot, okay? No matter what I try, no matter what I use, nothing makes my skin as flawless and beautiful as this foundation, okay? Even the other NARS foundations that I have tried, because I tried some this year, and I ended up returning them and just buying more of these because it is literally that good. It's the soft matte for me. It's actually what I have on right now. It's just, it just gives every single time. I don't even have to think about it. Don't have to worry about it. My shade is the shade Tahoe. It's just bomb.com. And if you haven't tried it yet, like, do it just do it do yourself a favor okay and just thank me later i know for some of y'all you're like Psh, i knew that next <laughs> okay so next up we got to talk about best and most comfortable lipstick i feel like lipstick had a huge moment for me this year i really got into my nudes especially i found some really great nudes um i feel like 2020 was a lot of browns i was still in the deep like deeper like more chocolatey kind of browns but this year i really got into lots of nudes and even a little bit of color here and there so the nominees for best and most comfortable lipstick are Galactic posh matte liquid lipstick the artist couture saucy yell silk cream lipstick the bite beauty tamarind matte lipstick and the urban decay uptight lipstick and so the winner is definitely gonna have to be the Artist Couture Saucy Yell Lipstick, y'all. This is so good. This is so good. I'm actually surprised at myself that I didn't pick a matte lipstick. But y'all, this is delicious, okay? Please take a look. This is the most beautiful lipstick. This looks fresh and brand new like I've never used it because I just had to buy a new one because I'm constantly using this. This with a dark brown lip liner with a low gloss on top is since we talked about lipstick we also got to talk about the absolute best brown lip liners okay that is our next category like i said 2021 i was all about my nudes and this is when i really really started playing around with lighter lipsticks and darker lip liners together i just absolutely love that style that trend is just it's everything so the nominees are the smashbox be legendary line and prime lip pencil in the shade dark brown charlotte tilbury lip cheat pencil in the shade pillow talk intense and the pat mcgrath permagel ultra lip pencil in the shade ground control literally every single one of these i use okay and when i tell you it was hard to pick a winner it was very very hard to pick a winner but when i really thought about it there's actually one of these that i reach for just a little bit more often than the others because the color just gives every single time and so the winner of the absolute best brown lip liner has to go to miss pat mcgrath y'all that ground controlled lip liner let me show it to y'all let me show it to y'all i got it right here this 
should go to show how often I've been using this. Let me, I think I have a new one here. <laughs> this is how tall it starts out. And as you continue using it and sharpening it, it gets smaller. I have been putting in some work with this lip liner and it's so good. Um, I've recently like added, because I'm now obsessed with the whole brown lip liner thing, I have added a bunch of other lip liners and nothing can compare to this. It is the most beautiful, perfect, deep brown without being too deep because it still gives a little chocolate vibes but it's deep enough to actually work on deeper skin tones. Let me show you. Like how perfect is this shade? Literal perfection. And not only the shade, but the actual formula of this. I love the way it glides on. I'm a little bit picky. I'm picky with everything at this point. I think you guys know that. But when it comes to lip liners, I like the ones that glide on easily and then stay put. This just gives all of the above. It's perfect. And then of course, we can't talk about lipstick and lip liner without also talking about lip gloss. Today is a very rare occasion that I don't have on lip gloss. I just have on lipstick, but... When we're talking about 2021, again, if you look through my videos here, if you look through my content on Instagram, nine times out of 10, your girl was wearing a glossy lip. I feel like glosses are still having their moments. So, the nominees for most poppin' lip gloss are Fenty Gloss Balm Cream, Kosas Wet Lip Oil, and the Artist Couture Plush Pout Lip Gloss. So this category was especially hard for me to pick a winner because I genuinely love all of these. When I had to pick a winner, I just had to go ahead and pick the Artist Couture Plush Pout Lip Gloss, specifically in the shade X-Rated because this shade is everything. The lip gloss itself is really nice because it gives a very, very light, minty kind of feel on the lips, which always feels so, so nice. But also, it's not like sticky or anything. And this color of this gloss, y'all. You see that? And so now if you wanted to guess what my favorite all-time lip combo of 2021 was, you would know it now. So it's going to be the Pat McGrath Brown Lip Liner with the Artist Couture Saucy Gal Lipstick. And then with a little bit of this X-rated gloss, also Artist Couture on top. This right here was my lip combo of 2021. All-time favorite, never fails works for day or night and honestly it just it's the most beautiful nude lip combo that i have ever achieved ever seen ever worn like i just i'm obsessed with it okay so we're gonna kind of start delving into a little bit more skincare now body care a little fragrance at the end <laughs> i keep mentioning that i can't wait to share the fragrance category but first our next category is going to be the best doesn't sting my skin makeup remover. I decided that I wasn't going to use makeup wipes anymore, so y'all aren't going to hear any makeup wipes as nominees in this category. I'm just trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly, so I use my reusable cotton pads with micellar water now to remove my makeup. And so I spent a lot of 2021 trying to experiment and figure out the best micellar water for me in terms of does it not break me out? Does it not sting my skin and is it not going to break the bank? Okay, so the nominees are Caudalie Micellar Water, the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, and the Kogendo Cleansing Spa Water. I am so happy this year. I have officially found my all-time favorite micellar cleansing water and that is... The Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good. I feel like I was probably one of the last people in the beauty industry to try this out because everybody talks about it, but it's actually really, really good. I was surprised at the fact that it didn't break me out. I can always tell right away if a product is causing a breakout. That was my first worry with this, actually. When I was trying, I was like, oh my God, please no. And it does not break me out. Thank the Lord. It also does a pretty good job at removing my makeup. Absolutely does not sting my my skin and it is affordable okay the coat of leave micellar water is great it works really well the ingredients are amazing but it is so expensive for what you get and I was literally going through one of their little skinny bottles in like no time and it was just making me so upset that I had to keep buying it so often so that's what made me try this one and I absolutely love it love the sizes that it comes in because you could really get like a big jumbo size of this for the low low and it's just 
effective, it gets the job done, and it works for me. So I had to put y'all on, okay? And in speaking of new things that I tried this past year, let's move on to my next category, which is favorite new to me skincare brand. So the nominees are Skin Fix, Fresh, Rose Ingleton MD, and Herbivore. All of these, I have to say 100% are amazing brands. I had amazing success with all of them. But yeah, there is a brand that I have been absolutely just so impressed with and my skin has just been glowing ever since. And that has gotta be Skin Fix. 2021, I realized I was over exfoliating just a little bit, doing too much, trying to get rid of my dark spots and my acne and all that stuff. Um, their Moisture Barrier Plus products have saved my skin so much. Their Moisture Barrier Plus products are all about, you know, replenishing and nourishing the skin and making sure that that moisture barrier is staying healthy and balanced. When your moisture barrier is off, y'all, your skin will be at its very worst, basically, and you'll get more bumps and more dryness and everything that you don't want. Um, so it's actually very, very important. And I just, I love their products. They've been really, really working for me, especially this moisturizer. I have it on right now. My skin just is always just so glowy. So even though, I don't know if you guys, you guys can probably see that I have been breaking out over the holiday season. I've been eating, okay. Um, but even though I do have my acne, my skin has just still been looking so nice and healthy and plump and just juicy and glowy at the same time. So I just, I love the way that this has been treating my skin, okay? It's very, very nice. Specifically, I use their Barrier Plus Foaming Oil Cleanser daily. Also, I use the Triple Lipid Hyaluronate Serum. I actually use this one every single night. And then this is my daytime moisturizer now. So the Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. They're just so good. So if you feel like you are struggling with dryness, if you are like me and you need to kind of give your skin a little bit of love after doing too many acne products or whatever, um, honestly, if you're a human being with skin, I feel like you should try Skin Fix <laughs> because it's that good. That is how much I have really, really been loving them. So speaking of my acne a little bit, um, the next category is going to be most effective acne product. I feel like my body and my skin, they're changing a lot. They're changing a lot. I'm aging. I'm 27 now. <laughs> You know what's funny? I always heard from like years ago, from when I was younger, I heard that every seven years you change a little bit, like your taste. I used to hate mushrooms. Now I absolutely love them. Um, fragrance. I'm so into perfumes. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but yeah, I'm loving different fragrances now. Things that I thought smelled good when I was 10 years old are like disgusting to me now you know what I mean um so I feel like you know I'm going through another one of those changes I'm 27 so I think I can literally feel those changes and like a little bit of a shift happen with my body changing I've noticed that dairy affects me in a different way now and it shows up through my skin when I eat too much dairy I break out when I am eating too much fast food I break out and y'all are probably watching like duh I've always heard other people say that about themselves but I've literally never had that issue I was that girl who could sit down eat whatever she wanted and not have to worry about weight gain not have to worry about breaking out I was just you could call me one of God's favorites. I'm still one of God's favorites, but I, I break out a little bit now if I don't behave. So I'm cleaning up my lifestyle, my eating a little bit. Um, but anyways, with my struggle with acne in 2021, I did try a number of acne products. And so all of these nominees are actually acne products that I use on a regular basis whenever I do have breakouts and even sometimes when I don't in order to prevent them. So yeah, literally love all the nominees, but let's, let's go ahead and list them out. So the Kate Somerville, eradicate acne treatment the dr. Dennis gross acne eliminating gel the herbivore lapis blue tansy face oil and the peace out acne healing dots I have to say I absolutely have been loving the dr. Dennis gross acne eliminating gel I finished an entire tube of this stuff and literally just restocked with a new one and I feel like that's how you know it's real again like literally all of these things that I'm mentioning here are things that I would go back and restock with my own money because I just love them so much. This is my go-to. I actually have it on right now underneath my makeup and it's nice because you don't see any, you know, some acne 
um, treatments will make your skin like dry or crusty or something the bad ones will do that the good ones the ones worth using will not do that and so I actually have this on underneath my makeup so my acne is being treated right now as we speak and we still look cute or whatever okay so next category is going to be best face mask this one is hard because I use different face masks for different purposes obviously we have hydrating ones we have detoxing ones and everything um, so basically what I went for when I chose these nominees were face masks that I use on a consistent basis throughout 2021 that I just kept going back to ones that are almost finished that need to be restocked because I use them so much you know what I mean so the nominees are youth to the people super clay purifying clear power mask the fresh hydrating rose mask the Caudalie instant detox mask and the tatcha violet C radiance mask the winner is gonna have to be my youth to the people gang will you please stand up Ooh, they're super clay power mask is so good this is it right here i wish that they would do it like jumbo sized i wish they would sell it jumbo sized because literally as i started to get to the bottom i was nervous ab about running out and then i stopped using it as frequently and i need to start using it again obviously so it's like purifying but also exfoliating for your skin at the same time it is so good and it's not one of those clay masks that are going to dry out your skin it's actually really really comfortable to put on i'm actually thinking about using this tonight <laughs> love you to the people um their products are always very well thought out um the ingredients that they use are always top notch it's clean at sephora they're eco-friendly i think they're part of the clean and planet positive at sephora which i love as well they're packaging always glass okay so i love it all right so next category we are talking about bois or z it's going to be the most delicious body scrub sometimes i'm not gonna lie sometimes i can get a little lazy to have to do that kind of extra step but whenever i do a good body scrub i'm always reminded why i love body scrubs so so much so the nominees are the way st bart's scalp and body scrub keys soul care body polish the lel glowing scrub and the soul de janeiro bum bum body scrub and i'm gonna have to give that top spot to miss bum bum scrub by soul de janeiro love it and i can never look at their products without smelling them because mm, it smells so good one of the reasons why i love this scrub so much is that it's thick it is thick so when you actually use this body scrub it leaves behind like it almost leaves behind like some nice oil like some nice oily juicy kind of moisture is left behind and it is just so nice it's so so nice so that's really why this one got the top spot but let's quickly talk about another one of our nominees though miss alicia keys with keys soul care listen her body lotion and her body polish are very very nice very delicious so i was very very pleasantly surprised by what they created because ooh, it is good and the smell i'm actually really excited to try out a couple more things they did send me some in pr but i'm looking into maybe trying some more things let me know if you guys would be interested actually in a full review because i'll come through for that as well okay so we have officially reached our very very last category of this video the category is going to be officially called best smelling and long lasting perfume i have really really explored fragrance in 2021 um i just realized that i didn't have any signature kind of perfume and i feel like that's kind of a thing that you have as a woman for some reason i couldn't find it i, I was never able to find things that i actually liked the smell of um, but this year, I am so excited to share some fragrances that I absolutely love. So let's get into these nominees. Clean Reserve Skin Perfume, the Valentino Donna Born and Roma Perfume, the YSL Libre Intense Perfume, and the Nest Perfume Oil in Seville Orange. When it comes to my scent preferences, I have come to realize that I am a fruity floral type of girl but i don't like it to smell like cheapy i like a good luxurious sexy kind of smell now like sexy 
but fresh. I love fresh scents as well that aren't necessarily fruity or floral. These nominees, I would have to say, are my top four favorites at the moment. And the winner is gonna have to be good old Valentino, baby! This was like, I wasn't even going into Sephora for fragrance. I just kind of happened to pass by, saw the bottle, looks really cute, smelt it, bought a travel size, and then ended up getting the big thing because it is so, so good. So the name of the scent is Donna Born in Roma. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go on Sephora right now and I'm going to tell you what the scent notes are because it is so Good. Okay, here we go. So the fragrance family is floral. The scent type is warm floral. Again, right along my vibes. The key notes are black currant, jasmine grandiflorum, and bourbon vanilla. So here's the actual description. It's a warm floral fragrance inspired by Roman street style and edgy haute couture. A trio of jasmine flowers and sparkling black currant fused with warm vanilla and rich woods to create a scent that captures the essence of modern femininity. See, I could have never described it like that, okay? I have no idea what black currant is or whatever, but all I know is this smells good and it doesn't smell childish. I feel like I'm finally kind of graduating from more childish scents. It doesn't smell grandma at all. It just smells, like they said, it's just modern and sexy and, and a little bit warm. I really, really, really love it. Also loving all the other nominees as well. The Clean Reserve Skin Perfume. I've never smelled anything so fresh in my life and it's actually a clean perfume so that's kind of the one that I'll wear like around the house I'll wear it after my night shower I'll put that on because I just love to smell it on me and it's clean so you don't have to worry about going to bed with chemicals or anything like that it's so so good also YSL Libre Intense smells now that is the ultimate sexy perfume okay I reach for that whenever I'm going on like a date night or something like that with Bay. Uh, if I'm going out to an event or something, I just want to smell and feel a little sexy. Then I go for my YSL. And then the Nest Perfume Oil in Seville Orange, also really good. I really like that during the summer. Something about a perfume oil in the warmth of the summer. It's just really, really nice. You can't tell I'm really into fragrances right now. I love it. So my little collection is like growing slowly and I'm finally understanding why women love perfume so much because I was never about that life. But... I'm there, I have arrived, and I am into fragrance, girl. Okay, so guys, that basically concludes our second annual Golden List Awards. I feel like this was a long one, so if you're still here, thank you so much. I got a special place in my heart for you, okay? I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you have any ideas for future categories that we should include for next year or any questions on any of the products that I mentioned, go ahead and comment them below. I will be going through every single comment on this video let's chat okay and let me know your ideas your ideas are always so good and so bomb so let me know don't feel like any idea would be stupid okay please just drop it in the comments yeah guys thank you so much for watching i cannot wait to see what we get into what we explore with in 2022 it's about to be an amazing year i can feel it see you guys i will catch you in the next video bye